Geneva police officers are putting even more emphasis on creating relationships in the community. I'm Lauren Thomas and engaging neighborhoods is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. The neighborhood engagement team are walking their beats, having one-on-one -on -one conversations with members of their community and improving public safety with their visibility and regular patrols. Nine African-American male scholars from Greenville Technical College went through simulations with Greenville police officers. They met the K-9 unit, SWAT officers, and Chief Howie Thompson to ask questions and get to know police in a more personal way. At Unity Park, rainy weather has slowed down construction, but once the site dries out, Michelin Green will be fine graded in preparation for installation of Bermuda Sod. Tree planting around the green is ongoing. City staff is working with SCDOT to gain approval for regular use of green paint for bike lanes within the city of Greenville, increasing bike visibility. Greenlink wants riders to help name its buses. You can give your suggestions through September 26th. Winners will receive free 31-day unlimited ride passes. Participants in Greenlink Citizens Transit Academy met at the public shopping plaza near Furman to ride Route 503 and take a tour of the transit center. The full entertainment schedule for the 2021 Bank of America Fall for Greenville was posted this week. The festival will host 75 bands on six musical stages. The Greenville Zoo announced the birth of a Schmitz red-tailed Gwinnon. The baby was born on September 17th to Dad Stewie and Mom Naomi. The new baby will cling to Mom for the first couple of weeks. Energy saving alert! Public Works crews successfully replaced all 400-watt roof lights with 120-watt LED lights in three city parking garages. Bank of America granted $500,000 to expand the Greenville Chamber's Minority Business Accelerator statewide. Since 2012, the program has provided resources and support for minority businesses to thrive. Entrepreneur Joe Heineman is featured this week in our From Here You Can Change the World initiative. In 2020, Heineman opened Modal, the first and only hostel in Greenville. After nine months of operation, it won a major award from Hostel World, the largest hostel online travel agency. Entrepreneur Homecoming. Our city leaders participated in a roundtable discussion with the Upstate Alliance to brainstorm with Greenville born and based founders on how to make our business climate even more welcoming and attractive. Registration is now open for fall break camp at our neighborhood community centers on October 18th and 19th. The camp will include arts and crafts, games and activities. So go to parks.greenvillesc.gov slash fall break to register. Public Works crews performed a targeted cleanup effort in the Green Line Spartanburg neighborhood. Crews repaired 293 square feet of street, filled eight potholes, cleaned 65 feet of storm pipe and 13 inlets, and they also sprayed kudzu, removed brush, and removed an abandoned vehicle and collected 5.5 tons of bulk waste and litter. So talk about a cleanup. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.